has been designed um, for the new facility. Like we run over. Uh, yes, sir. This is going to be down at the uh, the Naylor Park off of uh, Savannah Avenue, uh, where uh, the existing. <laughs> where, the where the existing park is, uh, it is a uh, uh, the the heating area is 24 uh, 2,440 square feet, and uh, then you got a covered area of 304 square feet for a total of 2,744 square feet. Um, uh, it will be you know wood framing, wood trusses. Uh, you're going to have a dining room, you have men and women's bathroom, you're going to have a kitchen, a uh, janitor's closet, uh, a changing room for men and women, uh, your concrete sidewalks and everything else like that. Uh, and basically, this is your, uh, your elevation uh, that you'll see here. Uh, it will be a, uh, a cement board, uh, lap board, uh, that will be, uh, that'll be painted. Um, with your bronze aluminum doors, uh, uh, have vinyl shutters. So uh, basically, I mean that's that's the community center that we're planning on building. How would it be controlled, and how would would any of us be able to use it for parks and rec? Parks and rec. Once we and reserve just it. like when we build the boat ramp and the community center, we will turn both of those over to parks and rec. They'll be under their control. And with once this facility is built, we'll have you'll call our office. Um, we have you can or come by. There's certain contracts. Currently, um, we have like a two-hour minimum when you're in any of our facilities. Currently, um, it's, I think it's 100, uh, 6250 an hour, so 125 dollars. Um, you can rent that, and that covers the co cost. But also, we have a monitor. So whenever whenever we rent a facility out. We have a part-time monitor that's there like 30 minutes before the group gets there so you all, um, whoever rents it or uses it, um, can set up and then once um, the event is over we make sure it's locked and safe and so that's pretty much how we've, um, we do all of our rentals, gyms, and from that standpoint. So we're excited about this new facility coming online in the very near future too. So. Uh, the location down there, what we're talking about. Now, are we going to clean out some trees? Are we going to buy some old land? Are we going to be able to keep the softball field? The plan uh, was to take the backstop and turn it from the angle it is and bring it over to protect the, where the building is intended to go. Uh, so there'll still be some use of that. It's not going. It's never been a full-size regulation field, so. It, it won't be now, um, but we still intend to have that there and be able to utilize that. We got a lot of trees there under for free shelter. Are you going to move them trees? Where, when they locate the building, if there's a tree that has to be moved, it will be removed. Well, a bunch of them need to be moved. <laughs> and in the summertime, you, in the afternoon, you have light and strike. And that's one of the dangerous parts. So, of course, even on the other shelves, you got big trees there. You need to move them. You know, they're, not, they're not there because it's a dangerous system because you got lightning strike. At this point, um, I believe it will probably just be moving the trees uh, that that is in the footprint of where the building is, um, and then certainly any other tree that might be considered um, in a situation that can damage the building. Uh, certainly would be considered, but the primary goal right now, we don't want to just go in there and clear the whole thing out. We still want to leave some trees in there. You need these canopies, you need those sort of things. So we'll be able to accomplish that, um, And um, but tr take out what trees we need to to put the building in. But as the next issue is the road. Yeah. <laughs> we hear that loud and clear. Is there a time frame? <laughs> You put it down and you can't get to it. What's to have to read that down? Yes, ma'am. Is there a time frame on the building? Well, as, as all splash revenue is... Um, we appreciate the building. Sure. I mean, as you can tell, this, keep, we keep use in this. Mind, Ms. Evans, Ms. Evans asks the question just about every week, you know, you know, how's it coming? But splash revenue comes in a penny at a time. Yeah. 
Um, and so there's all there's all kinds of other issues out there that's having to be addressed. Um, and and we don't do we don't do any of this by going out and borrowing revenue bar, borrowing funds to do that. We do it as those pennies come in. So the timeline I I, I believe I'm right about this was relatively quick, but now that all depends on the eyes of the beholder. But I think we'll be out for bids within the next uh, 30 to 45 days. Wow. Okay. Quick. What's the 